it goes back to that not journey to cloud anymore. It's either journey in cloud, and maybe that trademark that 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 phrase. But um, I mean, one of the stats like forty percent of um, Black Friday's transactions in the US were done on mobile, which was all cloud enabled, and there were no transactional issues or defects. I mean, that that's a huge data set and a huge consumer impact. So that the, that 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 suggests to me that from a technology perspective, it's pretty mature um, and pretty stable, as you said, and pretty well understood. Um, I think looking forward, what else is to come? I mean, if you look at the rate of development of, you know, of AWS, of, of, my, of, of Azure, of even GCP, Google, I mean, they, they, are, they are developing and issuing two, 3,000 new services a year. And, and that's, that's their core native cloud services. So there, there's, the rate of development isn't slowing down. I think where the maturity comes from is actually from a business perspective of how those businesses best take advantage of the technology and drive new differentiators, new products and services, um, and actually how they use the technology to enable the business outcome. Um, and that's where people, I think, are still developing. And again, different sectors and different industries have different products and service drivers there. But I think that's where um, that's where we, I, I believe the cloud providers are going to be investing their time and energy to help customers do that better and faster and cheaper. We've got a t stable, well understood, you know, set of technology components there. How we best use them in our businesses is going to be the, the way forward.